<laughs> I wish I had more of a structured workflow when it comes to mixing, but I just keep going, man, until everything sounds the way that it sounds in my head. Mm. So, but like, you know, I don't, I don't, I definitely don't have a, a straight up structure. I'll, I'll pull my faders down, make sure there's headroom. But beyond that, I basically just go through sections of the song. Like, like if I'll, I'll start maybe with the first break and I'll be like, Hey, let's see, uh, is this piano where I want it? And if it's not, I'll spend, you know, as much time as needed until that piano sounds good. Mm. And then I'll kind of move forward in the track and, and address the, the builds and the, and the drops and just kind of like everything. Like I, like I'll just kind of go through the song and just kind of like, I, 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 I like I was saying, I have a good memory, right? Mm. And I just kind of know what has and hasn't been addressed yet. And I'll just go through the whole song until I know everything is, is kind of top notch. And then one of the last things that I do to kind of check the mix down, I'll solo the kick and start adding every single element, probably during like the busiest sections of the songs. Um, so I'll start with the kick, I'll solo that, and then I'll slowly just solo every single layer that's that kind of comes in. So like one at a time, making sure that each one I'm happy with. And And what you'll learn sometimes by doing this kind of one at a time soloing technique is like what element just made this mix sound bad like what did i just bring in that all of a sudden the kick drum got lost or or what just happened that maybe the vocal isn't cutting through anymore you know like you start to learn that you're a lot of the, the mixing issues that producers come across they're creating themselves by you know, maybe making a poor composition decision or a poor sound choice. And so that's kind of like my last test, right? It's like, if I can get through that soloing phase where everything comes in the mix and everything is still audible and clear and crisp, then I know I've like, I've done a good job. And if, and if not, it's, you know, back to mixing, back to the drawing board. Yeah, that's, that's a really cool technique. So soloing, bringing each thing or each element in one by one. And that makes a lot of sense because... I know a lot of people, you know, they've got their mix down uh, and I can remember this back in the day and there's something wrong with the mix, but you can't work out what it is and you're just yeah. kind of going around in circles. <laughs> that make, That's common sense, but I, I suppose it's, yeah, not many people do it. Um, yeah. it was, honestly, it was, a, it was a trial and error thing. It was kind of one, like, I, I had to figure out what was wrong, right? And like, for me, that just made the most sense. I was like, oh, let, let me see if I bring everything in one at a time, I'll figure out, or I, at least I'd hope I'd figure out what's wrong. Mm-hmm. You mentioned uh, just in passing that, you know, poor compositional or poor composition can affect a mix. How? Uh, so many ways, man. I mean, so for example, if you have a drop, right? And let's say the bass line is kick in. You've got, you got your kick bass relationship. It's sounding great. And then comes that part of your mind where you're just like, is this enough? Like, don't I need to add more to this? Like, it's not enough. And then all of a sudden you start adding stabs and maybe you brought in piano too early or there's too many lead layers on top of it. And you had this really dope drop. But now you just made three or four composition decisions where your writing kind of changed that is going to make your mix down a whole hell of a lot more difficult to achieve. Mm. Um, So I don't don't know if that kind of makes sense. No, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. I just feel like that's a lot of what I come across. I'm just like, you just shouldn't have done that, you know? Like, Like this would be a lot better to mix and it would sound better if you just spent more time maybe developing your ideas and and this even goes to show in um in writing man like like you have to spend time writing first like the writing has to be good and if it's really good your mix down is going to be a lot easier to achieve like my pianos in a lot of my rooftop boys remixes like the other guy in the rooftop boys spends a lot of time just like writing these little like bass or these little piano fills and these little things that, that add so much to the vibe 
that no amount of mixing could ever do. Like the writing has to be there first. 